I believe that the people around me will always attempt and they do a great job at keeping me very safe. And of course, we're not going to go somewhere that we believe might endanger more than I think myself, but endanger the citizens of that city, which I thought was very sad. I don't know why people would want to hurt their own citizens. Um, in the grand scheme of life, I know one. You know, there are other things that are going on, like you can go feed the poor, go help children on the street, give them clothes, <laughs> feed them. Um, Go plant a tree. <laughs> I have no one in this world that they need to come after me. They can find something else more positive to do in their life. I think that, uh, I think during just into we have a couple of issues, but I mean, so far so good. I think that the response has been more positive than negative, and just based on numbers from my last movie, uh, everything went very well. Yes. Any regrets? Uh, as far as my career goes, I don't regret anything that I've done. Um, I believe that everything has led me to today. Um, everything in my past is a part of what's going on today and my future. Um, this is the most amazing time of my life and I, this would not be happening if my past did not exist. Um, so no, no, no regrets in the professional department. <laughs> Uh, Sunny, which kind of a genre you like the most? Uh, now we have seen your Rami uh, MMS too, and then which genre you like the most, and you want to work with uh, some any specific actor? Would you like to? I mean, is there any name in your mind or? Uh, I want to work with actors. I want to work with me. But at the top of my list is he like Amir Khan. Uh, <laughs> yes. Hi. Um, in regards to homosexuality, I believe that if you're, you know, born a certain way and you have feelings towards a man or a woman of the same sex, then that should be your choice, not somebody else's. Anybody else? Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Hi. Uh, what has Daniel's role been in uh, shaping your career? Not the whole transition from Hollywood. How is he used to travel? Daniel's the reason that. Sunny Leone exists in India. <laughs> if it wasn't for him, I probably wouldn't be here. Um, when I got offered to do a show for Big Boss, he came to me and he said, there's this show in India, it's called Big Boss, they want you to be on it, but it's in India. And I said, what <laughs> are you talking about? And the only reason I say that is because I went through a bad experience with the Indian community when I first started in uh, adult. Um, and it was, an o it was only until I was Penthouse Pet of the Year that I became Indian again. So I got a lot of hate mail, I got a lot of people that were not very nice. So I was extremely scared about the idea of coming here. And he just reassured me and said, hold on, <laughs> relax. <laughs> and uh, then they ended up sending like a presentation and everything. And they were a very professional company. So he also does, he allows me to be me because without him, I don't, I don't know who actually helped my career move forward in a positive way um, as much as he's been there. He, okay, a big hand for yeah. that. <laughs> he's, he's amazing. <laughs> I don't know, I haven't read the article yet. <laughs> she didn't say that. <laughs> in the cover, you're seen as a very dominant female. Do you think the Indian men are scared? I hope not. No. I don't she like it. I'm that. only scaring no. Rodney of MS too. You guys would explain <laughs> that, huh? Yeah, sure. It's basically about a new wave of feminism and uh, why, like, this is how men perceive feminism <laughs> to be, which is clearly not the case. So it's about busting that myth. That's what Sunny has done on the cover. So a big round of applause for Sunny. <laughs> Anybody else? Any other questions? Yes, please. go ahead. Uh, Sunny, what's the perception of Bollywood before coming here? And has it changed now that you are as part of Bollywood? Sure. Um, my perception of Bollywood was just what I saw on television with my parents, watching movies, which was something larger than life and glamorous and beautiful. I actually didn't know too much about the inner dealings of what goes on here, um, because I was very ignorant to what was going on outside my world uh, until this came and I started doing research. Um, my perception was, like I mentioned earlier, I was I was scared to come. I didn't know, what we, I was taking such a huge step um, 
into a world I did not know anything about. And then on top of it being dropped off in the house and <laughs> saying bye bye to everything that I knew or you know, couldn't talk to my family or my parent, you know, my, my husband or brother. So it's it's changed a lot. It's been a huge learning um, learning curve. I've learned a lot. Um, it hasn't been easy. It's been a very hard struggle. Um, it might seem easy to the outside world because I've had a lot of amazing things happen, but I've worked hard to get Welcome. Um, yeah, go ahead. Um, what's your dream role in my dream role? My dream role is just to work. <laughs> um, as a Kuchnia that I want to do one thing or another. Um, I just want to make good films. I want to make films that people are interested in. Um, I don't want to set limits to what that role is or what films I want to make because I believe that once you set limits in your life that you're then stuck in a box. So I'm making a movie right now that has action and comedy and it has all sorts of amazing things that go on. Um, not allowed to talk about, you know, the other movies that I have in the bag, but they have, a, you know, some comedy and there's some suspense thrillers in there as well. Tell us something about your upcoming uh, movie. Um, my upcoming, the movie that I'm working on right now is called Tina and Lolo. It's about two girls on the run. It's a woman-centric film. And why we're on the run, what we're trying to achieve, I'm not allowed to talk about yet because <laughs> they won't let me. <laughs> I'm dying to. Um, but hopefully soon there'll be a teaser up because it's what I've seen so far looks amazing. Something that I've never done before, which is a lot of action. Um, we did like mixed martial arts, boxing. I got to learn how to do the gun. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Um, not a whole lot. The person I was with was my significant other, so everything just disappeared. <laughs> Sunny, uh, you uh, generally we see in Bollywood many actresses are after getting married, they don't get that much of projects and you know work. But you you don't think yourself you are too lucky that when you entered you was already married and then also people are liking you. You're getting so much of projects and so much of films. So what do you think on this? I mean, as a fortunate part. Uh, I believe I've done everything backwards. <laughs> um, somehow it's worked. Um, I've done everything that I'm not supposed to do. I've done it already. Uh, the only thing left is I don't have a baby, so. <laughs> um, uh, but I have two dogs. Um, but I I see things differently than you know other people do. This is my job. This is what I love to do. My body's in good shape. My face is great. My hair is nice. You know, like, and I love acting, I love being in front of the camera, I love entertaining. This is my job, that's how I see it. I don't think that marriage or having children should be the end all of a woman's career. Um, I know that it's, it might be a cultural thing or a family thing or a personal thing, whichever that reason is for that woman that she feels that she can't work anymore. It might be that she might be looking forward to that moment of not working anymore, who knows? But for me, this is my life. I love it. I love what I do, and I hope that it doesn't end just because I'm married or if I have children one day, um, that it keeps going and I make good movies that people like. Go ahead. On April Fool's, there was that rumor of a split. So how does that affect you on the Okay, so I don't know what day today is, <laughs> let alone it was April 1st, April Fool's Day. I don't. That, that stuff doesn't, I don't like look at each day and go, oh, today's April Fool's if I don't want, you know. I got upset. Well, actually, I woke up to a call from the Bombay Times asking me if it was true.